percentage fees, we have $102,835.89. Our adjusted general fund balance is $698,052.61. In our State Street Aid Fund, we have $29,096.85. In our industrial fund, we have $11,000. $206.08. In our drug fund, we have $25,559.48. Our revenues for the month of September 2020 are $142,560. And our expenditures for the month of September is $103,770.25. With a very good difference of $38,791.75. Excellent month for September. Okay, and, and the industrial sale will show on next month's report. And you say you had a sanitation truck? Uh, the next payment for the sanitation truck won't be until April. Okay. And those are the debts. Okay, we should be somewhere around, uh, looks like. Somewhere around 23, 24 percent, and that's right where we're at as far as the budget. So we're right on, right on target. Okay, I like to hear uh, a motion to approve the financial report as presented. I'll I'll make a motion to approve it as presented. Motion by Ms. Headley, second by Mr. Lawson. Discussion? All in favor? I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, on the, uh, the State Street A. Mm -hmm. Why do we get monthly I mean, I'm, I know what's winning up some, but do you, you have an idea about what we're getting? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit over 6000 that we're getting a month. Okay. It fluctuates, comes and goes, but it's around 6000 I was talking to uh, Emily at uh, Jack's Girl, mm -hmm. and Jack's Jack is actually getting just as much as we are. And they don't have near the streets and, and near the, you know, we do. They're, they're getting just as much as we are. I mean, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works anyway. I'm going to have a computer to eat. I'm going to have a computer on population or something. It could be. I don't, I don't know. tell you the truth. I, I don't know how to have that age figure. I don't know. But we can, we can find out. Though. Yeah, I'd like to find out and see. Uh, cause I, I really don't know what they may say. Okay. All right. Your gasoline taxes. Um, Is it based on that? Yeah, you're your gasoline taxes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we should be way, we should be way ahead of the game on that one. Jacksburg's only got the one station that I can take. Yeah, as far yeah. as what we got to 141 and over here too, we ought to be way ahead of the game yeah. on that. But we'll, yeah. we'll she, she can check on that for us. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, report to council members. Lord, straight report. Okay. Uh, the sanitation department. Uh, we had 61 ton of garbage, 4 ton of uh, recycling, 12 ton of brush, and we mowed throughout the city and picked up brush and put in a 40 by 24 tile on Ridge Road, uh, rock line the ditch on Ridge Road, and cut the right away out on Phillips Street and fixed the ditch on Butter Road. That's it. 12 ton of brush. That's a lot of brush. It is. Okay. Uh, library report. Um, Ms. Logan. Month of September, we had 713 items checked out, 610 checked in, we had 531 ebooks checked out, and added two patrons. We added 38 items and had 289 computer users. We loaned 14 items out to other libraries in the state, and we borrowed 27, and we had a total attendance of 313. Um, we had a very interesting month, um, Senator Ken Yeager and uh, Secretary of State um, Trey Hargett visited the library, and they presented us with our TSLA grant check. And uh, Senator Yeager actually surprised us with an additional $200 donation of his own money, which was very, very kind. Um, we don't have a lot else going on right now. Um, we talked about possibly doing a book sale in November, but uh, with current circumstances, that may be up for reevaluation. Okay. All right. Thank you, Logan. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, see, I don't, I don't have the police or the fire. I've got the police. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Mikey. Go ahead. Uh, police department answered 342 calls with 20 arrests, 64 citations, five DUIs, 16 accidents, two drug arrests, and 9,198 miles patrol. Okay. Thank you, sir. Patrick, recreation. We were supposed to have Chris here tonight. We're sitting at a point with the park grants that it looks like it's going to come in a little bit more than what we'd hoped. I'm still for applying for it because you've got that longer window with some of these grants. And if we apply for it, we can always later on it's like, well, we can't do this. Right. But if you don't apply, you don't get it. Exactly. So, as far as that goes, I would still recommend we continue to apply for these grants. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Mayor Most, we approve the reports from the departments. I'm right here, Most. Motion by Mr. Lawson. I hear a second. All second. Okay. Either one. See you. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Did you, yeah, yeah, or nay? I said yes. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, didn't hardly hear. I guess the, I guess the. Uh, all right, any old business? Okay, new business. Now, a couple things on on new business. Uh, number one, Chris, with the like Pat had discussed with the grant, uh, he is going to come next month, so we can table that to next month. Number one. Uh, Number two, council discussed second reading of ordinance number 2020-03, amending the zoning map of the town of Carroll by rezoning parcels 120B A.063.00 1090 A05100 109K as in Kenneth, A as in Adam. 052.00 and 109J is in John, A is in Adam, 020.00 from R1 low density residential to MHPD mobile home park district. Okay, now we passed this last month on first reading. Uh, what it does, it doesn't change anything as far as as anything that can be done or whatever, it just changes basically the name of what it is. Is that correct, B? That is correct, yes. Okay. So well, we're not we're just making everything the way it should be as far as, as names and what it's supposed to be. Yes. Okay. Do I hear a motion to that effect? I'll make a motion we pass the ordinance on the second reading. Okay. Second. Okay. Take your bit. Discussion? Call roll, please. Mr. Patrick Beatley? Yes. Ms. Vicki Heavenly? Yes. Mr. Lloyd Lawson? Yes. Mayor Shakespeare? Yes. Motion carries. All right, number three. Council discuss observance of Halloween. Okay. What we have decided, we talked about this in workshop, is that this year we're going to have a drive through trunk or treat. Okay? It'll be basically the same place as it was last year over at the ball field. But uh, we will, uh, it'll be a drive through. Hopefully, there'll be signage. There won't be signage. Uh, be the best possible way to do this probably is turn at Eric Shoney's and go out by, come up between the post office and come up, come out by the First Baptist Church and come down the hill through the ball field and exit down next to Shoney's. You go left or right. That way, there's one way in, one way out. Uh, you know, due to COVID and the situation right now, with input from police department and fire department <coughs> and council members, this was the best way that we could figure to do this and do it safely. Okay? So we encourage everyone to come, but we encourage everyone to drive through. Now, don't, there won't be any parking and walking through, okay? We won't. We want this to be a totally drive-through, and I think this is not. To, I think the county, the county sheriff's department, is mm -hmm. going to do the same thing. There's just going to be a drive-through, also. 
So, but now, it was brought up when we were discussing this. Now, we do have some children that live in a very close proximity of the ball field. Okay? There's a, some children that is very close. Now, there will be a provision for those children that they can walk through because they can walk from the house and walk back very quickly. So, they, that should be the only ones that should be doing any walking and be the ones in very close proximity of ball field. But now, as far as people parking at Shoney's or the Exxon or other places and walking through, we discourage that, highly discourage that. If you're in a car, if you're coming in a car, please stay in your car. Okay? And, every, and drive through. I'm sorry, but this is the, you know, that's the only way, only way we could figure to do it and do it safely and still have it. And we're asking for everyone's cooperation. Uh, these are strange times, uncharted waters, I guess you would say, and we're all just trying to do, make it through the best we can. So that's that was the plan that we had talked about. Uh, I'll open it up for discussion. Everybody add, subtract. Everybody good, not. It's up to you all. Uh, I'm sorry, Vicki? I said I'm good with it. I think this is what we need to do is uh, keep them in the cars for safety. Okay, all right. The only question I've got is do we have signs made up? The foot signs? The show we, will, we, will, we, will, we will have signs to, you know, like with arrows showing which way to come in. Do we need to get the street department to put them signs? Well, up? Uh, I think Beth said she may have access to some signs, or if, or if nothing else, we'll we will have some signage, and we'll get we'll all work together on that, and get that done. It's on it's on Saturday, Friday. It's on Saturday, so that gives us time to. And if uh, any, I know we may not have as many uh, churches and civic organizations participate this year, and I totally understand. I totally understand if 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 they don't feel comfortable with it. We're not encouraging or discouraging. It's totally up to them. If they feel fine with it, or whether they're welcome, if they have an issue with coming, that's fine. Okay? Everybody's got everybody makes their own decision. And but, we have enough money in recreation that's not going to see any other use this year. No, well, summer. we're good on you know, candy's no problem. We're good. Uh, and like I said, it's on Saturday. I'm sure the police department will be will be here with us. Fire department, I believe, is going to be able to, be able to participate also. So, like I said, it's, it's, it's the best we can do under the circumstances. What's now, the date? The date is Saturday, October 31st. How long? Okay, it'll be four. I'm glad you mentioned that because I didn't say what time. It'll be five to eight, which is, is like the rest of the county, five to eight. Also, if any organization or church wants to come and set up, please get in contact with... City Hall, 562-9478, and let us know if you're coming. Also, we'd like, if you are going to come, we'd like everyone to be set up and try to be here and ready to go at 4 o'clock because we usually have some people come early, which that's fine, okay? Especially got little, got little, got little kids. They want to come and get out. So uh, if you're going to participate, organization of churches, please get in contact with the city. And we'll try, everybody needs to be there at 4 o'clock or as close to 4 o'clock as possible so everybody can get everything set up and get everything ready. Hopefully we'll have a nice, safe drive-thru. Would, would we need to go ahead on, on the sign? We, shouldn't we put the time on the signs too? We can. We can. We can, we can fix that. Should we have the signs out maybe a day or two before so people will know? Yeah, we can, we can put them out on Friday. We can put them out on Friday. We'll get access to them. We've, we still got a couple weeks yeah. to get those, and we can uh, we can put those out maybe on Friday, and with Iris and show how we're going to do it. But uh, like I said, that's the best, neatest way that we need to try to get through this. So is everybody good with that? I don't think yeah. that, I don't think we got to vote on. We'll just that's what we're going to do. Okay, number four. Council discussed Tennessee CARES Act local government program. It's for it's a grant for thirteen thousand four hundred seventy-five dollars. What this is, uh, explain. There you go. I'm young <laughs> You can explain it better than I can because uh, mm -hmm. Teresa and Laura have been doing a lot, a lot of work on this. Both of them have worked very, very hard. I think Laura has done a little more of the lion's share on this. She has done the lion's share of work on this. So. She's done a lot. 
Okay, so explain what this is, please. With the Tennessee CARES Act, we had our allocations be a little over $34,000 that we can use nothing but the COVID, anything related to COVID expenses. So we get reimbursed back. So we're trying to find anything related to COVID, which the police department has. They're trying to find ways to work them might have to social, social distance their self. Um, so we have requested funds for, for that and payroll expense of anybody that we've had, you know, out with the COVID to be tested. Um, given telework, we can get requests for funds for that. Um, the deadline was really, it was September the 30th, it put us in a crunch. Um, that's why we had to hurry and make a decision early September um, to go ahead and get, you know, the process going. Um, so hopefully we can hear something back here soon and uh, finish with our allocations and get reimbursed back. And that's pretty much it. Okay, and it was, this wasn't like a lot of grants that they'll, they'll give you, they'll call and say, okay, you've got two months to get your, you know, get whatever in. This was one where we need everything that, that you, or everything that you're requesting we didn't know what it's going to be. We needed in. Like I said, they gave us one, gave us like two or three weeks to get it in. And we had, and the ladies worked very, very hard. And I went ahead and authorized them to go ahead and do what they had to do because the deadlines were so stringent on these. From what I understand, a lot of towns and cities didn't do it because of so much paperwork that was involved. And these two ladies, like I said, Laura done the line share of it. They, uh, they have done a lot of work on this, turned in what, how many pages of? 102 pages. 102 pages of, of, of uh, information to, to, uh, to the person that's doing this. And, and we received this, I think, today. Uh, this is from Austin Hinckley. Uh, he is the, he is working on the grant for the town. Uh, it says, Teresa, we are, we are still in process of moving a lot of requests through at the moment. This could take some time, but from what I have seen of your request, I believe they will be approved. We will let you know of any additional information or changes we may need. This is from Austin Hinkley. So, uh, like I said, this is one of those deals where uh, I went ahead and authorized them to go ahead and do what they had to do to qualify for this money. This is 100%. It doesn't cost the city a dime, which is the best kind. Mm -hmm. But we had to go ahead and get the paperwork had to get the information and had to get it to them before the deadline. So that's what we did. And we still have a couple of weeks out uh, this month, but uh, November 1st is the deadline for everything. Yeah, that is the, that's, that's, the, the, that's the end. Deadline. So hopefully we can uh, work on some other things. As of right now, I think every department has got about, you know, we, well, they have bought uh, COVID supplies, masks, gloves, clean supplies, about everything possible that they could do. And uh, like I said, the police department's got some some uh, some, big, some items that they are looking at. Like I said, the, uh, we're hoping that comes through, but it sounds like we're gonna be able to qualify for it. So uh, what I'd like to do tonight, if it's, if it's agreeable with the council, is, is vote to go ahead and participate in this grant uh, to, to uh, qualify for this money. I'll second that motion. Okay. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Patrick Beatley? Yes. Ms. Vicki Heatherly? Yes. Mr. Lloyd Lawson? Yes. Mayor Stixberry? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Uh, the next two, uh, the uh, TML Public Indy Park Property conversa uh, Conversation, excuse me, Conservation. Uh, the uh, the, the, the department heads uh, didn't have anything that they really wanted to, to uh, do with that, so we're going to just let that slide. And the number six, the personnel policy, uh, it's not ready yet. We'll do that next month. Uh, I'd like to add number seven, if possible. Uh, number seven would be TDOT 2021 Traffic Signal Modernization Program. I'd like to hear a motion that we add that to the agenda. I'll make the motion we add it to the agenda. Okay. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Patrick Peebley? Yes. Ms. Vicki Heatherly? Yes. Mr. Lloyd Lawson? Yes. Mayor Stixberry? Yes. Okay. What this is, I received the email Thursday that 
the traffic signal grant is coming around again, but as in a lot of a lot of grants, they have to have an, they have to have everything in by December the second. So that's why I went ahead and put it on tonight because if you wait till next month, you're talking about the ninth, and only leaves about two weeks to get in. So what this is, this is a another grant. Hopefully that I would like to see. We have discussed before. We applied last time to get the red lights and control box replaced over here at 116 and Joe Headley Boulevard over here at the Waffle House. Uh, as Lloyd knows and about everyone knows, that system is old. Yes. Yeah. And the last, every time we have to get the control box worked on, the company has to rob parts from old pieces, old boxes to make it work. So we're going to run on bar time over it right now. So I'd like to have a motion that we uh, apply for the traffic signal modernization program. I'll make, I'll that. make that motion. Motion by Vicki, second by Blood. Okay, discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Patrick Feebly? Yes. Ms. Vicki Heatherly? Yes. Mr. Lloyd Lawson? Yes. Mayor Stixberry? Yes. Anything else to come before the board? Do I hear a motion? We adjourn. I'll make the motion. Vicky? I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> On favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Vicky.